Let's welcome Bill. Bill. Hey, Dean. It's good to be back. Great to see you. How are you? That was a great session last time with Jan. Man, I know. I like the guy so much. He exudes his confidence, but he's not cocky. Yeah. He is just passionate about his idea, and you know that he's working day and night to get it done. He's a hard worker. He's very enthusiastic about what he's doing. He yeah. knows the space now. But he's very methodical. People sometimes don't realize how methodical he is. And, and that's what came out in that session. I was very happy. You know, there's a method to everything that he's doing. It's not yeah. just, you know, high energy, work hard. He's working very, very smart, too. Yeah. And by the way, we're bringing Young back today to continue our exploration where we're going to talk about mapping your sales process. And mapping the customer acquisition process goes from how do we get them moving to how do they pay for it and ultimately buy more of it and tell other people. It sounds to me a lot like full life cycle use case, which we covered in Entrepreneurship 102. That's right. But we're integrating with decision making unit now and we're really focusing on, on the specifics as to how do they pay for it? Where, where does a budget come out of? Who needs to sign off? What type of authority do they have to do that? And so we're really double clicking, triple clicking into this in a level that we don't, don't do early on. But it absolutely does build off that piece of knowledge. 